Terms and conditions apply. Visit Nada's website for more details. Loading, loading. Utah's state government is reportedly willing to invest $1 billion to attract a major league baseball team to Salt Lake City. The funds would help build a top-tier stadium and multi-block fan zone featuring mixed-use developments, restaurants and new businesses. Although it may look like another giveaway to a major league baseball, MLB, club owned by a billionaire, the project could also create thousands of new jobs. Salt Lake City is already home to two major sports franchises, the NBA's Utah Jazz and Real Salt Lake of Major League Soccer, MLS, both of which also play in the downtown area. Adding a top-tier professional baseball stadium and fan zone would make Salt Lake City an almost year-round destination for sports fans, and the baseball stadium could host other large events. It's important to note that Utah's government would not be acting alone in offering financial support to build a new baseball stadium. Utah Jazz owner Larry Miller is reportedly planning to invest $3.5 billion in the proposed stadium, and he already has a 100-acre site selected for its construction. It will be in a prime location, within easy distance of Salt Lake City International Airport, the state fairgrounds and light rail stops. Don't miss, Miami is expected to take New York's place as the U.S. financial capital. Here's how you can invest in the city with as little as $500 before that happens. Collecting passive income from real estate just got a whole lot simpler. A new real estate fund backed by Jeff Bezos gives you instant access to a diversified portfolio of rental. While the Utah government is willing to put up $1 billion in partnership with Miller, it's important to note that most of that money would not come out of the pockets of Utah taxpayers. The initial funds would be paid for in bond measures that would be paid back by raising the state's hotel tax, which is how the state raised $35 million to help fund the construction of Real Salt Lake's soccer stadium. Miller and the Utah state government view the proposed stadium as the centerpiece of a redevelopment area that would be called the Fair Park Entertainment District and feature a large network of hotels, bars and restaurants. This multi-purpose fan zone experience is one of the hottest new sectors in real estate development and has seen tremendous success revitalizing cities like Inglewood, California, with SoFi Stadium or Titletown in Green Bay, Wisconsin. These developments are popular with both team owners and governments. It starts with team owners buying more land than the stadium will require because doing so allows them to get both stadium revenue and profits from the redevelopment of the adjacent real estate. They don't have to share the revenue generated by selling new condominiums and long-term leases on hundreds of thousands of square feet of prime real estate with other team owners.